All right. So today we're going to do a little demonstration. <clears throat> Try to figure out what is a high pressure region, what is a low pressure region, and what kind of weather do we get <clears throat> with each of these pressure systems. Now if you take a look here, you'll see that Cruella and Goofy are going to be helping us today. What I need you to imagine is this. The water in our tank is the atmosphere on Earth. It's the air. That means that Cruella and Goofy at the bottom of the tank are standing on the ground, and this is the atmosphere above them. So the question now is, what kind of conditions would create a high pressure area? And what kind of conditions in the atmosphere would create a low pressure area? Well, let me show you what I'm going to do to create the high and low pressure systems. First of all, over on this side where the high pressure system is going to develop, I'm going to add some ice. I'm going to put that ice right up here in my little strainer, which keeps it all in one spot, That's too much. keeps it on this side of our Can I get some? system, our model. On the other side, I'm going to put a rock that I've been soaking in really hot water. So this would be like the ground, okay? It's like the ground that's been warmed by the sun. Now if we look now, we really don't see anything. But the beautiful thing about using water to represent our atmosphere is I can go ahead and put some food coloring in it and we can see the movement in our model atmosphere. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to inject, I'm going to inject some red food coloring on our warm earth and I'm going to put some blue food coloring in our, in our cold upper atmosphere. And let's watch what happens. Okay. Let's just wait a minute. I'll be real quiet and watch what occurs here in our atmosphere. <clears throat> If we look over here, we can see that the, the atmosphere over here is cold and dense and falling. It's pushing down on Goofy. That's high pressure when something's pushing down on you. A weather station over here would register a high pressure region where cooler, denser air is falling. Meanwhile, Cruella over here is in a low pressure area because warmer, less dense air is rising. It's lifting off of her which means there's less pressure on her. She's in a low pressure area. A weather station over by Cruella would be registering a low pressure. Now, if you watch, you can see this is actually creating a swirl. Or if we wait long <coughs> enough, it will. And that swirl is what is called, you ready? A convection current. Warmer things rise, cooler, more dense things fall. And as the cool, dense atmosphere falls, it sweeps over to take the place of the rising, warm atmosphere. Now, the last thing I want you to think about is this. In our class, we use the weather app to create a storm. I want you to think, what kind of weather conditions <coughs> with low pressure, <coughs> rising warm air, warmer air tend to bring. And what kind of a weather system would falling cooler, denser air cause? Nice. Think about that question, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Now, as you can see, the, 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 cool, the cool atmosphere as it reaches this side begins to warm and rise, and the warmer 
the warmer water, as it stretches over here and reaches the cold upper atmosphere, it begins to cool and fall. We're starting to see the full cycle of convection current forming. That explains how we get low pressure and how we get high pressure. <clears throat>